Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. In this video, we will be solving one very interesting quintic equation. Equation is x power 5 minus 5x cube plus 5x square equal to 1 with the help of synthetic division method, where x belongs to real number. So let's get started. By writing all the terms to LHS, then we will solve using synthetic division method. So first I will write x power 5 minus 5x cube plus 5x square minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will talk about rational root theorem. See this is our constant coefficient. So I can write all the eligible factors. So I can write only plus minus 1 as it is 1 only. Leading term or leading coefficient you can see it is 1 so that means eligible factors we will write for leading coefficient that would be plus minus 1. Now I will consider the ratio. So let me write x is equal to plus 1 or minus 1. So you can see easily it is directly 1 minus if I will put x 1 1 minus 5 plus 5 minus 1 this is true 0. So x equal to 1 is the base solution. Now I will use synthetic division. So I need to write the coefficient of this quintic equation. So I will write 1, 0, minus 5, 5, 0 and negative 1. Why 0? Because there is no x square coefficient. So here we are having 0 and this second last 0 is because of no x coefficient is there in quintic equation. You can see this equation doesn't have any x square or x term. So that is why it is 0. Now let us put one line over there. I will write leading coefficient as it is unchanged 1. Now 1 times 1, 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1, 1, negative 4. Negative 4 times 1, negative 4, 1. 1 times 1, 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1, 0. Now it is 1 degree shorter than the quintic. So it is degree 4. Let me write these are the coefficients of degree 4 polynomial x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see without rational root theorem you can see if I will add all the coefficients of this equation I will get 0. So that means Again in this quartic equation x is equal to 1 is our base solution. You can put here 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 1. So this is true 0 0 equal to 0 that means this holds true. So again x is equal to 1 is our solution. So so far we have x is equal to 1 solution with multiplicity 2 so far. Now I will apply synthetic division once again for this quartic equation. So let me write that equation first. x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let me write all the coefficients of the quartic equation. So 1, 1, negative 4, 1, 1. Put one line over there base solution is x is equal to 1. Leading term or leading coefficient I will write as it is unchanged 1. Now multiply 1 times 1, 1, 2. 2 times 1, 2, negative 2. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2, negative 1. Negative 1 times 1, so that is negative 1, 0. Now it will be one cubic equation with these coefficient. So let me write cubic equation x cube plus 2x square minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Again you can see if I will put x equal to 1 what will happen 1 plus 2 minus 2 minus 1. So this is 0. That means x equal to 1 is again solution of this cubic equation. I will write all the coefficients first 
and apply synthetic division. So I will write 1, the coefficient of this cubic equation. 1, 2, minus 2, minus 1. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is 1. Now multiply. 1 times 1, 1, 3. 3 times 1, 3, 1. 1 times 1, 1, 0. So these are the coefficient of quadratic equation now. So equation is x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will solve this quadratic equation for the remaining two solutions. Let me consider that quadratic equation. So I will write x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So I will apply quadratic formula. Let me write x is equal to minus b. So I will write minus 3 plus minus a square root b square that is 3 square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. Let us solve this one. I will write minus 3 plus minus a square root 9 minus 4 divided by 2. So this will give us negative 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2. So ultimately what we are having, there are three solutions. Let me write for multiplicity, not 3, it is 4. x is equal to, let me write first this solution, minus 3 plus square root 5 over 2, which is real and negative. And minus 3 minus square root 5 over 2, it is real and negative. Okay, square root 5 is 2.23. So you can write there real solutions. And we have got x equal to 1, 1 and 1. See, solution is 1 with multiplicity 3. So overall we are having x is equal to 1 minus 3 plus square root 5 over 2 minus 3 minus square root 5 over 2. See one more way of solving this problem is there. But if you want to attempt, you can solve by factorization also. So factorization is also possible. I will add x power 4 and take away x power 4. Then I will split this minus 5x cube in terms of minus 4x cube minus x cube. Same way 5x square. I can split in x square and 4x square. Then you can take x minus 1 common from the quintic equation first time. Same practice you will do twice. You will get x minus 1 whole cube in bracket x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Same solution using synthetic division method. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.